This is part 18 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss pipes in Angular with examples. So what are pipes in Angular? Pipes transform data before display. For example, let's say we want to transform employee code to uppercase. That's possible using uppercase pipe. And within this annual salary column, we want to display dollar symbol and maybe we want to limit the decimal places to 3. That's possible using the currency pipe. And within this date of birth column, we want to display the name of the month instead of the number. Again, that's possible using the date pipe. There are several built-in pipes provided by Angular like lowercase, uppercase, decimal, date, currency, etc. Let's look at a few examples now. First, let's transform employee code to uppercase. So here is the data binding expression to display the employee code. To use a pipe in Angular, all we do is next to the data binding expression, we use the pipe character and then the name of the pipe. The name of the pipe in this case is uppercase. And at the moment we've got several columns within this table. So to simplify it, let's remove all these columns from index. So first let's remove the th elements and then their corresponding td elements. We also don't need all these variables so let's get rid of them as well. Let's save all these changes and reload our web page. Notice now employee code is in uppercase. Now let's look at another example. Let's transform this date of birth. Here is the data binding expression to display date of birth. So to apply a pipe we use the pipe character followed by that the name of the pipe that we want to use. We want to use date pipe because we are formatting date here. And date pipe takes a parameter. So we need to specify a value for that parameter. To specify the value, we use colon symbol and then the value for the parameter. I'm going to pass full date as the value for the parameter. The obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, how do I know what are the valid values for date parameter? We'll discuss that in just a bit. For now, let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice it only has formatted the second and third rows, but not the first and fourth rows. Let's investigate why by launching browser developer tools. In the console, we can see we've got a few errors. Let's look at the error message right here. Notice it says invalid pipe argument 25.6.1988 for pipe date pipe. So basically we get this error because it's expecting the date to be in MMDDYYY format but we have it in DDMMYYY format. So to fix this errors, let's fix the data that we have. So let's open the TypeScript file which contains our hard-coded data and let's change this to mmdd and yyy and let's do the same thing with the last row right here mmdd and yyy so let's save our changes and reload our web page notice now all the rows are formatted as expected we can also chain pipes together at the moment here we are using just one pipe date pipe Along with the date pipe, let's say for example, I also want to use the uppercase pipe. So I use another pipe character and then specify the name of my other pipe, in this case uppercase. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice now date of birth is in uppercase as well. At the moment, we are using full date as the value for date parameter. So how do I know what are the different possible values for date parameter? Well, the answer is Angular documentation. Here is the documentation for date pipe. I'll have this URL available in the description of this video as well as on my blog. And here are the possible values for date parameter. You can also use these symbols right here to control the format of the date. For example, if we want four digit year, then we use small letter y. If we want two digit year, then we use two small letter y characters. Similarly, if I want two digit month number, I use capital letter mm. And if I want two digit day number, then I use two small letter d characters.
okay so let's say for example we want this date to be in dd mm yyy format then we can specify the value as so basically we want two day numbers so i use two small letter d's and two month numbers i use capital letter m's and then i want four digit year so i use single small letter y let's save these changes and reload our web page notice now the date is in dd mm y y y y format with this example we have just seen how to pass a single parameter to a pipe how about passing multiple parameters to a pipe the currency pipe for example takes multiple parameters let's format the data that we have in this annual salary column using currency pipe so within the data binding expression right here let's use the pipe character and then the currency pipe and this pipe takes three parameters the first parameter is the currency in which we want this data to be formatted let's say for example we want it to be formatted in US dollar so I use the currency code as US day and then we have a choice here do we want the currency code like USD or do we want currency symbol that is the US dollar symbol if we want the US dollar symbol we specify another colon and then specify true indicating that we want the currency symbol instead of the currency code and then the final parameter controls the number of digits that we want before and after decimal let's say for example before decimal we want at least one digit so again within quotes after colon we specify one that is minimum of one digits before the decimal and then I use dot and then I want minimum three digits after the decimal and a maximum of three digits as well okay so here we are passing three parameters to the currency pipe so let's save our changes and reload our web page notice now the currency column is formatted as expected so what are pipes in angular pipes transform data before display Angular provides several built-in pipes like lowercase, uppercase, decimal, currency, etc. To apply a pipe on a bound property, we use the pipe character and then followed by that the name of the pipe. We can also chain pipes together. In this example, we are chaining date and uppercase pipes. We can also pass parameters to pipes and to pass parameters, we use colon symbol. We have seen examples of passing a single parameter as well as multiple parameters. We can also create custom pipes. We'll discuss creating custom pipes in our upcoming videos in this series. To read more about these built-in Angular pipes, check these URLs right here. I'll have these links available both in the description of this video as well as on my blog. Thank you for listening and have a great day.